Hi, I'm gonna show you how I made this 3D compass in Godot and if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's dive in. So what we wanna start is finding a compass model or making one ourselves, and we're gonna search for compass, 3D model and free. And you should find some pretty good ones. There's TurboSquid, Sketchfab and other ones. Sketchfab is pretty good, so we're gonna open that one up. And you can search for other compass models, but I like this one. And it's free as well. Uh, you have to check the license on it, and this one is attribution, so you just gotta leave a comment somewhere that it's from this person. So what you can do next is download this, and you can probably use any format. But I'm gonna use the original format, so I'm gonna press download on FBX and I'm gonna extract it. And inside of the source, I got the FBX, so I'm gonna copy the path to this and now we can open up Blender. Once inside Blender, we can select everything, so press A and X to delete. And up in the left corner on file, we can hit import and depending on the file you downloaded, I downloaded a FBX, so I'm gonna press FBX and paste it in the path. And there we have it, the Compass 3D FBX. And now I got this in my scene. I'm gonna rotate it so it's facing upwards. So I'm gonna select everything by pressing A and rotate and holding control while rotating it on the X axis. Or I mean the Y axis to rotate it on the you know X, yeah. This is looking pretty good. I'm also gonna combine all parts except for um, the spinning part I want to move later. So I'm gonna select everything and then shift click on the part I don't want to uh, join and press Ctrl J to combine them into one. I don't know why that didn't want to work, but I'll guess I'll select them manually. And they have a little bit different color when you do that. Uh, and I didn't want this one. You can also uh, Ctrl click on them to not select the one that you don't want. And now you can press Ctrl J to combine them into one. We can rename this to Compass. And this one could be Pointer. And now we can see that the origin is already in a good place. That is this orange uh, dot in it. And if you scale it, it's gonna scale from that origin. On this one, we can see that the origin is not in the center, I think. Just to make sure, we can select everything and press object, set origin and origin to geometry. This will set origin right and that's gonna help with rotating it later. So now if we press rotate and set, we will see that it rotates perfectly. Example, if the origin was on the dot over there, if the origin was over here, it would rotate differently. So let's demonstrate that as well. Rotate set and you'll see it rotates from the origin uh, of the mesh. So let's undo that and select everything and origin geometry again. Now we can save this and we can put it inside of our Godot project. Now once in your Godot project, you could make a new folder and name it Blender. And right click it and open in File Manager. Copy this path and inside of Blender, we can save it at this path. So paste the path in and name this Compass. Press Enter and it will automatically get the dot blend. Now we can save this, and if we open up Godot again, it will import the Blender model, and inside of Blender, we will have the compass. If we double click it, we can check it out. And since these are basic materials, it's using these ones, and they are just simple principle BSDF materials. So they will automatically import perfectly. But if they are not principle BSDF models, and they might contain images. You want to press file and export da data and press automatically pack resources and enable that. And in the shading tab on your material, on the images, for example, um, if I plug in an image texture, it will show this one, but it's like a box and you want to check that to get the material inside of Godot. So now we can make a new 3D scene 
and name this uh, uh, compass. We can drag in the compass model on the compass scene. So now we will get this in, in the center. So how I did this was that I made a mesh instance on the node 3D. So search for mesh and instance. And on the mesh, we want to make this. It doesn't really matter, but I chose a sphere and we can make the material. So make a standard material and on the albedo, let's make it a little bit darker. And now we can move it to the side. So to get this part to move towards this, we need to right click on the model and editable children and that will give us the parts that we made before if you remember we made the compass into one part if we move it and the pointer into one part now if we select the node 3d we will make a new script and we can make this a compass script so what we need to get here is the we can rename the mesh instance to target and that will mean that it's pointing towards the target so we can remove the ready function because we don't need that select the target hold control and drag it into the script do the same for the pointer select the pointer hold control and drag it into the script now you will get uh, variables for the pointer and the target and that's perfect so now the script will know that it's those two things that we want to um, change and in the process, this is how I did it, like this. And we can save the script and call it compass. And as you see, it won't work inside of the editor. And if you want it to work inside of the editor to check it out, we have to make the script a tool. So at the top, we can add uh, one of these and add tool and save. And now we it will change color to a blue one. and. If we move the thing around, it doesn't do anything. And that's because uh, it hasn't updated yet. So we save and close it, open up the scene again. And now uh, if you see, it will point towards the, um, the target. And depending on your compass model, you might not need to apply rotation to uh, the pointer. And this works in all rotations. I want to select the compass itself, rotate Z. You'll see it still works. And I couldn't find any resources on how to make this in Grow, but I found one for Unity and that was good, so I recreated it in Grow. So that's basically the story, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.